My name is Barney. I am 21 at the moment. I was diagnosed with acute myeloid leukemia on the 8th of April of 2021. So I was diagnosed in Peterborough. Um, I was sent to a and &E, had blood tests, um, then got told uh, it was probably leukemia. I had a bone marrow biopsy the next day and then got told, got confirmed that it was leukemia. I had the choice of either staying in Peterborough or coming here to Cambridge on C9 yeah. um, and I decided to come here which was the right decision to make. Stayed in for a month, had my first round of chemotherapy, um, went home for a week, had a second round of chemotherapy for a month, came home for a month, had my transplant in August, came out in September and I haven't been an inpatient since, I've just been seeing doctors in clinics. I uh, was only allowed one family member throughout my throughout most of my stay. Um, I had a little bit where I could have um, two different family members alternating, but I couldn't have friends and extended relatives come visit me, um, which I would say in the whole was a negative. I could only see my mum most of the time. I couldn't see my dad. Um, I couldn't see my girlfriend or other people who you know cared for me, but it was also difficult for them. I would say it's more difficult for them because they couldn't come and see me. I knew how I was. I wasn't very well. But they knew how I was. They were, I wasn't very well. But they, you know, they couldn't see that. They could only hear about it. Um, so, of course, there were the nurses on the ward that looked after me. There was the um, consultancy round that happened three or four times a week where I got to ask questions. Um, I also had um, Rosie. I had Charlie, um, I had Kyle as well. Um, the fact that my, how I felt was taken into consideration regarding x-rays, biopsies um, and different procedures that needed to be done. If I was too unwell to go downstairs and have an x-ray then it would be postponed. So I felt in control of my care. I think the acknowledgement that it's not only my journey but it is also my family members who care for me and love for me um, that when nurses or consultants or doctors came and saw me that you know it's also important to acknowledge and listen to the family member that is with me because most of the time I'm not too well um, and the family member also knows what I'm going through and how I feel. So a bit of you know, acknowledgement and understanding that they are also going through a not very nice process. Something that I think is really good is um, having access to the triage. So if something at home happens, I know I have got the safety of a 24-hour helpline, which is not 999, it's not A&E. I call them, I call, I talk to a specialist cancer nurse who then goes and talks to a specialist cancer consultant um, and I get a phone back within half an hour, an hour to discuss what is wrong with me, if there is anything wrong with me and what I should be doing about it.